Strikers once again used tires and fire in blockades at this industrial site in the northwestern city of Le Havre. People in France are protesting for their fifth week, and it's hitting them hard financially. Sabrina Tassit works in administration. So far, striking has cost her 11 days of wages. I've lost a little over 800 euros, which is quite a budget. I've got three children to support, and it's not easy. For others, the toll has been even heavier. I've lost three quarters of my pay. On the one hand, it's a choice. But then again, it also isn't. Making ends meet at the end of the month is a huge challenge. But there's some good news. Thanks so much, I'm thrilled. We just received another donation from the Solidarity Fund. It's 60,000 euros. A generous sum, but nowhere near enough to compensate for lost wages. So can these protesters in Le Havre afford to keep striking? We spoke to a school cook who's also a single mother. In March, she received a salary of just over 1,000 euros, hardly enough to feed her family. I told my colleagues that the previous protest would be my last because of the massive financial sacrifice involved. But because everyone at school went on strike, I decided to join them. Some people have decided to only strike for a few hours to avoid losing a full day of wages. I organized my time so I could work for two hours in the morning and then be here from noon. The number of protesters across France is decreasing. 570,000 people took to the streets on Thursday, according to government figures.